the new government is basically the same as the last one, but with a different face. You know, a m majority of what's made up this new government used to work for Rajapaksha. So I think, you know, when we say, when we say um, what can the new government offer the Tamils, I think the Tamils were interested in voting out Rajapaksha, but they didn't necessarily you know, know the face of the new president. So, you know, Maithripala is something uh, unknown it, on, on the very surface level. But I think as time goes on, we're going to find out it's pretty similar to the old one. I mean, it does strike me as a little bit too early to judge, maybe, surely. Well, he has this 100-day program, this plan to reform Sri Lanka and, uh, you know, to embrace uh, some sort of change, you know, for the way it's governed. So we can wait, but at the, at the moment, that 100-day plan doesn't include Tamils and change, real change for Tamil people. But, but it does include things like sort of reforming the judiciary, um, you know, reducing presidential powers, all these things that, you know, Sri Lankans had hoped for for so long, getting rid of this corruption and nepotism that had been so long a part of the, 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 the old regime. If that happens, surely that's a good thing and may lay the foundations for hope for Tamils too. The Tamils have basically shown, you know, they're part of what they believe is, is uh, important, which is, yeah, we believe in democracy, we believe in the power to vote, you know, against all odds we're going to come out and show solidarity for, you know, for the whole of Sri Lanka and contribute to this, to this society. And now the government, who are made up of the same people that have been in power before, they have to go, right, we can put past all the things that we used to think and we used to do to Tamils and change the way we behave towards Tamil people in Sri Lanka. So be specific, what would it actually take to bring peace, true peace and reconciliation in Sri Lanka? Well, I think it does need to start with, you know, sorting out the ethnic conflict before you know, sorting out uh, the economic structures of Sri Lanka because, you know, since 2009, there hasn't been a bomb in Sri Lanka, you know, and this is not because the Rajapaksha government defeated the Tamil Tigers, it's because the Tamils were embracing the concept of peace. You know, we wanted change. Like, that's why there hasn't been that conflict. And when you take Rajapaksha out, you have to take his method out and you have to you know, demilitarize the north and east. You have to, you know, stop intimidating Tamils, you know, give, give back their land. You have to, you know, you have to embrace them and include them in the government. You have to, you know, have representatives that are part of this 100-day... Already, you know, you should have elements within this 100-day plan that, that addresses the Tamil issue. And definitely, I think, solve the ethnic... Con you know, conflict before you solve the economic, you know, reform. Now you're, you're very outspoken on these political issues. And in the past, the Rajapaksha regime has said, you should stick to what you're best at, your music, and don't get involved in this politics stuff. They branded you, in fact, a terrorist sympathiser. Are you? I'm a Tamil. You know, this is, this is one of the things that it's, it's taken five years from 2009 for us to get rid of, you know, this concept that Rajapaksha created, which, you know, which is all Tamils equals terrorism. And it's like, no, five years on, it's, it's time to sort of, you know, dismantle this concept that he built, you know. Because I think if you look at, if you look at um, the amount of Tamils who, who've been affected by the war, who live abroad, like myself, um, we are still product of what, what happened there, you know, and we, we, we can't all be terrorists. He can't, you know, there's millions of us, so you can't constantly brand these people every time they have an opinion towards Tamil people as, you know... The, 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 the Rajapaksha regime was accused of many terrible things, you know, human rights abuse, torture, 
war crimes. But so were the Tamil Tigers. Do you condemn the Tamil Tigers for what they did? No, I think it's bad on both parts. But, you know, after 2009, there is no such thing. You know, Tamil Tigers don't exist. Terrorism does not exist. So to double the military and militarize the uh, country even more is it's kind of going against um, what what the right thing to do is, you know. So to me, yes, of course, it's cause and effect. If you have if you have um, ethnic cleansing or you have you know war crimes, and if you have an unjust government, there's going to be retaliation. And I think you know they're both bad, and both of this both of them are perpetrators of war crimes. But right now, I think it's important to focus on what Tamil civilians and Tamil people need, because they still need representation. You know, the West has got what they wanted, which is to eradicate the, you know, or defeat the Tamil Tigers. The government of Rajapaksha got what it wanted. India got what it wanted. Everybody got what they wanted, which is the Tamil Tigers gone. So after that, the post-war, which has been going on, you know, for five years now, there has been no change for Tamils. You know, you, you're one of perhaps millions of Tamils who have been scattered across the world, from Sri Lanka alone, in the past three or four decades, as a result of these ethnic, this ethnic conflict. Do you see the day when you, and maybe many of your compatriots, can return home? Can, can, can I... Would you, can, well, can, you, can you see the day when you actually do a concert tour? in Sri Lanka? I don't think it's going to be this year, put it that way. You know, I would love it to be that sort of instant, but I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. But that, that would be a great thing, though, to, to really have um, the Tamils abroad who, who are, you know, affected by the war and that, that, that basically you know, have been waiting for this moment or waiting for some sort of change to, to be able to go home and be part of the, the, the change. You know, it'd be, it'd be great because they have so much to contribute Did you now. feel, as a Tamil, hurt by what had happened, personally? Yeah, I mean, of course it affected me. You know, I was pregnant at the time. And to watch uh, a lot of Tamil people being, you know, civilians being murdered and you know, what I was trying to say is that when I was there and saw a lot of people in money weren't part of the census report, I was worried in 2009 when I was watching it on YouTube that half of those people were not going to be accounted for. So even if the Sinhalese, you know, army killed a lot of civilians and destroyed the mass graves and got rid of the evidence and all of these things, you know, finding out and accounting for the number of lives and these kind of statistics, you know, were all, all sort of not going to be accurate. And I was really affected by that, you know, to, to stick to kind of the amount of civilians who are being affected, you know, versus the number of Tamil Tiger soldiers. And that, that to me, I think, is the most... Um, you know, it was the bit that really resonated, you know, how, what to do about those civilians and how to get their messages across and how to get their voices heard and what kind of life they live in now, you know. And they, they still live in these conditions. I mean, I was watching this um, Amnesty International video about rebuilding homes for the Tamils and the Tamils literally were given, you know, a, a hammer and an axe and a pick and they had to like build a single brick you know one by one to build a house and so we're not getting any of the aid we're not getting any of the money and you know we we didn't even receive the tsunami money which was you know happened in 2004 so all of this sort of accountability for you know rebuilding the lives of these people that's kind of what what you know I think hurts the most. The ultimate accountability will be presumably the war crimes inquiry which was ordered 
last year by the United Nations. Do you think any of this can ever be resolved without that? I think the UN-led inquiry is important on a global level for every government. And for Tamil people, they just need to have peace and they need their dignity and they need their lives back. You know, we need just simple things. Like, of course, we want to see Rajapaksha go to The Hague. We want the people that committed these war crimes go to trial. We want that. But at the same time, you know, we need basic things to get their lives back in order. You know, they, they need their home. They, they need to be released out of the camps and released out of prisons. And, you know, we need that sort of things happening at the same time. You know, we need kids being given opportunities to go to school and pursue, you know, further education. And we need opportunities in the government. We need opportunities in employment and that sort of thing. You know, because at the moment, prejudice and racism, you know, towards them still exist. And that, that needs to also be addressed at the same time, you know. You, you, you sound to me like a very eloquent spokesperson for the Tamil people. Do you think they look to you as that? And do you feel a responsibility to be that? I don't think they look to me for that at all. But unfortunately, they've got me. <laughs> this is what they got. So, you know, I, I just feel I tried to do this in America in 2009 when it was actually happening, saying, you know, look, there's something happening over there. And it's also the first, you know, war where we saw footage uploaded to YouTube the day it happened, you know, and we all had smartphones, but we'd got too dumb to realize, you know, how to judge what was right and wrong and what was being done. And so it's sort of, for me, on a, on a larger level, it's about that. It's about my generation, you know, no matter who we are, whether I'm a Tamil or not, you know, that it's just important to know you know, what happened when it happened and, you know, be part of the change.